students in this video i am going to discuss d block elements and important properties kmno4 k2cr2o7 both are access oxidizing agents and here n factor calculations and some important properties i am going to discuss with you in today's session okay first let me start with the d block elements potassium permanganate potassium dichromate d block so part 1 part 2 already have uploaded general properties electronic configurations we have discussed and unpaired electrons paired electrons color colorless go through that videos too then come back to this one so here i am going to discuss about k2cr2o7 and kmno4 k2cr2o7 we call it as potassium dichromate right potassium dichromate and the kmno4 we call it as potassium permanganate here you can write molecular form or else this one you can write like a ionic form cr2o7 2 minus this is what we call it as dichromate ion dichromate ion so here potassium ions we are not writing potassium ions you can use are not using there is no change in the oxidation state of chromium so sometimes you no know, some elements uh, use is not they use is not there and uh, there is no change if you are using that particular element are not using particular element there is no change those we call it as spectators generally here this is molecular form this is ionic form molecular form also chromium oxidation state you will get your plus 6 and ionic form also chromium oxidation state is plus 6 only this is ionic form this is molecular form dichromate ion it is in orange color orange red orange color and next potassium permanganate its ionic form how we'll write only one potassium no mno4 minus that's it this is what we call it as permanganate ion permanganate permanganate ion okay so this is what which color purple color purple color so mno4 minus either you can write molecular form or ionic form there is no change in the oxidation state of the metal okay can we calculate now first oxidation states and you can take it this is compound 1 students this is compound 2 this is compound 3 compound 3 also i am writing that is k2 mno4 K two MnO four, what we call it as K two MnO four, potassium manganate. Potassium manganate. If you write ionic form, if you write ionic form, MnO four two minus. This is what we call it as manganate. Okay, write down name first. Potassium manganate. What about this one? Manganate ion. right okay two different ways i am going to give explanation for calculation of oxidation states look into this first method method 1 calculate oxidation state of oxidation state of chromium in cr2o7 2 minus okay look into this uh, what is this first question 1 answer cr2 o7 2 minus okay suppose you don't know this one take it as x 2x two chromiums are there you can take it as 2x and 7 into each oxygen is minus 2 90% oxygen having minus 2 oxidation state remaining 10% like peroxides superoxides ozonides valency and oxidation state periodic classification part 3 i have uploaded if you have any doubts calculating oxidation state go through the channel okay so 7 into here normal oxygen oxidation state minus 2 that is equate to the charge always we have to equate to the charge 2x minus 14 equal to minus 2 and 2x equal to plus 12 x equal to plus 6 so don't forget students two chromium atoms we have got it plus 12 each chromium atom is plus 6 each chromium atom is plus 6 don't write plus 12 
per atom always we are giving per atom clear now this is one method another method students just a simple uh, towards competitive exam each question carries less than 1 minute right so you can take it as this is how to calculate cr2o7 see 72s are 14 right 7 into minus 2 that is minus 14 oxygen so but he has taken negative charge no you can give it to back minus 4 plus plus 2 then you will get minus 12 so oxygen is minus 12 means chromium is chromium is plus 12 the two two chromium plus 12 each chromium is plus 6 did you understand my point see 7 2s are 14 14 oxygen is minus charge minus 4 this seems to be 2 minus that means he has gained electrons from someone who is someone potassium only right you can give it back minus 4 plus 2 then what you will get oxidation state minus 12 so oxygen minus 12 means definitely chromium is plus 12 why because to overall compound value must be zero overall compound value must be zero So then, two chromium plus twelve. Each chromium is plus six. So similar way, you can calculate manganese and permanganate also. Okay, students, look into this. Okay. So what is this next example two? That is K two M N O four potassium manganese. And K M N O four potassium permanganate. You can calculate directly here also. Four two zar minus eight. Or each oxygen minus two, right? Four two zar minus eight. This is plus one. How you know it is plus one? It is first year group element. First year group element. Second year group element. No exceptional cases. Clear explanation I had given. Valence and oxidation state. Please go through the periodic classification part three. So this is plus. One, this is minus eight. Then rest is this is plus seven. Simple. You can calculate like this. And this is what minus eight. This is plus two. This is what plus six. Manganese plus six oxidation state is nothing but manganate. Manganate. This is what manganese plus seven oxidation state is nothing but permanganate. Clear, students? That's it. so permanganate and manganate colors also important ha huh? so manganate and permanganate colors they are asking this is you can write m m m n o 4 2 minus okay this is what m n o 4 minus can you draw the structure students very easily you can draw what is the central metal atom is manganese see out of four oxygens two oxygens in negative charge two oxygens in negative charge that's it easily you can draw the structure see the tetrahedral shape two oxygens are normal that means double bond another two oxygen see o minus this is what o minus that's all this is what manganate ion which is in green color which is in green color this is mang permanganate permanganate also you can try the same thing out of four oxygen only one oxygen is negative charge the mining Three oxygens as it is double bond. You can write that. So one one oxygen only negative charge. This is what is the color? Yes, purple color. The similar way we can draw the structures for dichromate also. First, let me complete another properties. Afterwards, I'll come back to the chromate and dichromate structures. Okay. Now, first one potassium dichromate industrial preparation also plays important role. potassium dichromate industrial process industrial preparation industrial preparation so we are preparing from chromite ore chromite ore so chromite ore composition also plays important role it is fecr2o4 so here ion oxidation state is plus 2 And this is minus eight. Each chromium plus each chromium is plus three. Two chromiums is plus six. Your ion oxidation state, chromium oxidation state, both plays important role for competitive examination. So what we are taking for preparation of potassium dichromate, we are taking starting one is chromite ore, right? So this is chromite ore. This chromite ore, if you treat with sodium carbonate. in presence of air in presence of air heating 
this is actually roasting students roasting in presence of air heating is nothing but roasting we have learnt in metallurgy right so here o2 now what you will get here students what is the product yes these two combine these two combine so you will get na2 na2 cr o4 plus ion oxide ion oxide i am writing down fe2o3 plus whenever carbonates are heating definitely you will get carbon dioxide gas you have to balance this reaction so you have to balance this reaction how easily 487 you can remember this is what 828 that's it this is 4 this is 8 this is 7 this is what is this 828 you can remember like this now this is sodium chromate this sodium chromate further treated with na2cro4 this is yellow color this is in yellow color this yellow color further if you treat with h2so4 sulfuric acid or h plus if dick medium then what you will get students your h plus if you maintain here uh, h plus ions only act on sulfate ions you no need to write just if dick medium so then what you will get product here see what you are expecting potassium dichromate but first you will get sodium dichromate na2cr2 O7 Na2 Cr2 O7. Okay, clear. This is what. This is also orange color. Sodium dichromate. Sodium dichromate. Byproducts. Byproducts. Just to see. This is two moles. I am taking students. This is also two moles. How many sodiums here? Totally four. But here two only have written. Remaining two you can write two Na plus. And byproduct is water. Hydrogen and oxygen come out like it. Water. That's it. Okay. This is the second step. Now last step. This what is what is required one potassium dichromate. But we prepared sodium dichromate. Just to that potassium dichromate. If you treat with the potassium dichromate if you treat with the potassium salt sorry sodium dichromate treated with potassium salt that's it required one k2cr2o7 orange color and the by product is nacl that's it this is your final product it is it orange color orange color potassium dichromate clear students that's all this is one of the important preparation for board examination who are preparing and complete version also colors sodium chromate colors and sodium dichromate to potassium dichromate preparation first starting one chromite more composition and iron chromium and oxidation states they are asking okay now go to the next one next important point is chromate cro4 2 minus if you treat with acid acid then it converts into dichromate ion this dichromate ion if you treat with dichromate ion if you treat with one second if dichromate ion if you treat with oh minus then you will get chromate See, these two are interconvertible. First, write down the names. Chromate. This is what dichromate. Chromate and dichromate. Okay. Now here, calculate oxidation state of chromium. Both the cases. Calculate oxidation state. Anyone tried? Try this one. clear anyone got it okay see chromate and dichromate chromate in chromate case also chromium oxidation state is plus 6 dichromate also chromium oxidation state is plus 6 this is one of the important question 
chromate and dichromate both are interconvertible chromate if you treat with acid you will get dichromate and dichromate if you treat with base what you will get chromate these two are interconvertible okay so here they can mention question like this ph ph is uh, acidic medium no this is ph is less than 7 here ph is greater than 7 this is ph is greater than 7 this is ph is less than 7 okay that's it sometimes they may ask questions ph value sometimes they will ask uh, oxidation state sometimes they will ask colors also what is this orange color this is yellow color okay now next question K2Cr2O7, K2Cr2O7, okay. Or else you can write Cr2O7 two minus. Both are same, no? Cr2O7 two minus. Cr2O7 two minus in acidic medium. In acidic medium, it converting into chromium plus three. Chromium plus three. Here, what is the n factor? what is the n factor this is a reaction students they are asking your n factor can you try what is this question n factor n factor so for acid basicity for bases acidity for oxidants and reductants that means oxidizing agents and reducing agents we are calculating tell me gain of electrons loss of electrons gain of electrons loss of electrons now calculate your how many electrons gained that is the n factor so how to calculate student c cr2 o7 2 minus converting into cr plus 3 how many here chromium oxidation state is plus 6 here chromium oxidation state is plus 3 how many units had changed three units had changed but how many chromium atoms totally 2 into 3 totally 6 totally 6 that means He gained six electrons to convert into chromium plus three. That's it. We have learned redox reactions also. We have learned in the solution chapter also n factor calculation. Here finally, what I'm trying to say your n factor equal to six. Okay. So they give question like this. Equivalent weight of Cr two O seven two minus. Your option E is molecular weight by six. M by six. They will give options m by one, m by two, m by three, m by six like this. Your answer is m by six. Clear my point? So what is m here? Molecular weight. Molecular weight by six. This is one of the frequently asked questions in JEE and NEET examination. Clear? Now next question. Chromate and dichromate structures. Chromate, dichromate, both are tetrahedral. Manganate, permanganate, we have taken no same thing. Chromate, CrO4 two minus and Cr2 O7 two minus. This is chromate, this is chromate, and this is dichromate. Can you draw the structure, students? Tetrahedral, both are tetrahedral. Even above cases also write the shape tetrahedral. See how easily we can write central metal atom is chromium. But out of four oxygens, two oxygens negative charge, double bond O, double bond O, two oxygens negative charge. That's it. Clear? That's it. Next up, dichromate. Dichromate also tetrahedral, but one oxygen linkage is there. CrO linkage, CrO Cr linkage. I I can show here also. Out of seven oxygens, two oxygens negative charge. That's it. O minus. Mm. That's all. Now here you you can expect questions, ma. You can expect questions. This is also tetrahedral geometry only, but through oxygen linkage. C R O C R C R O C R bond angles they are asking. What is the bond angle here? C R O C R 126 degrees. And uh, this is bond length also. This is 179 picometers. And what about this guy? This is six bond length. Six C R O. Bond length equal six CrO bond length equal equal due to resonance due to resonance 
what is this resonance p resonance condition negative charge negative charge sigma bond pi bond if this condition is there definitely it can accept resonance it exists as resonance not only this condition we have different conditions negative charge sigma pi bond and alternate to single and double bond and positive charge sigma pi bond these are all conditions but see this is negative charge negative charge and sigma this is pi bond it is in conjugation because conjugation resonance uh, because conjugation and resonance both are same so he because of this resonance what happened six cro bond length this three this three bond lengths are equal okay that is what is the bond length here students 163 picometers 163 picometers very important je question okay structures are colors they will ask and next how many cro bond lengths are equal and what is the shape everything next another important role is here k2cr2o7 k2cr2o7 in acidic medium and kmno4 in acidic medium both acts as strong oxidizing agents both acts as strong oxidizing agents strong oxidizing agents what is oxidizing agent students oxidizing agent means it can oxidize it can oxidize neighbor it can oxidize neighbor itself it is itself it is reducing itself it is reducing did you understand my point see cr chromium highest oxidation state is plus 6 not only chromium students the element element which is in which is in higher oxidation state which is in higher oxidation state acts as acts as oxidizing agent never acts as reducing agent never access reducing agent what could be the reason i can show so chromium the maximum oxidation state is plus 6 chromium maximum oxidation state is plus 6 right beyond that it is not possible even manganese also the maximum oxidation state look into this chromium what is the maximum oxidation state plus 6 what about manganese manganese also plus 7 plus 7 uh highest oxidation state right chromium plus 6 oxidation state highest one now so other other cases plus 2 is there plus 4 it is possible like that it is there suppose if it acts as oxidizing agent what happens what i is it in it can oxidize its neighbor itself it is reducing means plus 6 to lower oxidation state like plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 it can convert but suppose if it acts as reducing agent itself it is oxidizing no that means plus 6 to plus 7 plus 8 we have to convert but it's not possible highest oxidation state of chromium is plus 6 that's why any element which is in higher oxidation state definitely acts as oxidizing agent manganese also manganese also highest oxidation state in 3d series manganese only can show plus 7 oxidation state beyond that it is not possible if it acts as oxidizing agent itself it is reducing maybe it converting into plus 6 maybe it converting into plus 2 like that so if it acts as reducing agent it have to convert into plus 8 form it's not possible never exhibit manganese plus 8 only osmium ruthenium xenon exhibit plus 8 oxidation state clear students so this is the way we have to connect the questions okay oxidizing agent kmno4 k2cr2 or 7 both acts as strong oxidizing agents they will give number of questions to you number of questions all i am writing so first i'll explain one question students K2Cr2O7. They gave question to you. What is this? Okay, ionic form I can take. They give big reaction to the student. Like ionic form. Cr2O7 two minus in presence of acidic medium, it reacts with I minus. What is the product? That's it. They give question. okay cdsc students and pu students and competitive case at 
NEET, MAINS, all examinations. See, this combination, CR2O7 acidic medium means what is this? Oxidizing agent. Oxidizing agent oxidizes the neighboring group. Neighboring group, it is in minus 1 oxidation state. Minus 1 oxidation state converting into 0. Minus 1 to 0 means it is undergoing oxidation. But who has done this work? Definitely this guy has done. The itself he is the guy converting into lower form, reducing. Plus 6, no here, plus 6 oxidation state converting into plus 3. And byproducts are water. That's it. Like that you have to connect number of questions. Okay. KMNO4 and K2CR2O7 both acts as oxidizing agents. Suppose I am giving some questions. Everyone try this one. Suppose H2S. H2S is there. This is the combination, but this is common combination. Even KMNO4 also, both the cases. KMNO4 in H plus combination or else K2CR2O7, this combination. See, this is the connectivity. H2S converting into sulfur. That's it. Now, suppose if you have taken here like uh, ion plus 2, ion plus 2, ion possible oxidation state 3. One is plus two plus three. Ferrous ferric we are seeing. But plus one exceptional case only in brown ring. Remaining all the cases, suppose if it is in plus two state, converting into plus three state. Increasing oxidation state is nothing but oxidation. Who has done oxidizing agents? Right. Now next question. Many questions you can connect like this. Oxalate ion, C2O4 2 minus. It reacts with the KMNO4 or K2CR2O7. It's converting into CO2. That's it. Next one. What is this? One more. S2O3 2 minus. S2O3 2 minus. It converts in SO4 2 minus. Even SO3 2 minus also. SO3 2 minus also converting into SO4 2 minus. Okay. So very easily you can learn reactions like this. Number of reactions. Okay. Now next one more. One more point I am giving here. What is that? I minus, important note point students, one second, NO2 is there, it converts in, it converts into NO3 minus, that's it. So next important note point, suppose they gave question like this to you, ion plus 2 plus MNO4 minus plus H plus C, if this combination you are seeing, it acts as oxidizing agent, right? Oxidizing agent. It oxidizes the neighboring group. Definitely increasing oxidation state, Fe plus 2 to Fe plus 3. Itself it is reducing. Reducing means it converting into lower oxidation state. That's all. Byproduct is water. See how easily we can write. Next important point is KMNO4, that is in presence of acidic medium, if it reacts with I minus, it is converting into I2. Byproducts are M plus 2 and water. Okay, if you take better to take all one form only, ionic form. Now students, this is only in acidic medium, it is converting into I2. But the same MnO4 minus, see important exception. So MnO4 minus, what is this? What is this? Basic medium. MnO4 minus. Here we are taking water. Water. It's I minus. Here product is different students. Here product is different. MnO4 minus it converting into MnO2. Plus here important one is basic medium OH minus it convert. And you will get IO3 minus. IO3 minus. This is important point. In acidic medium, it converts into I2. I minus to I2. But in basic medium, I minus converting into IO3. Important point. Remaining all the cases, you can apply the same logic. Lower oxidation state to higher oxidation state. If you look into sulfur, here plus 4, plus 4 to plus 6. Nitrogen, this is plus 3 to plus 5. Like this, conversion. With this, we can easily work out the Number of questions in organic chemistry. Among the following, in which case uh, uh, KMNO4 acts as oxidizing agent. Uh, and suppose H2O2 is there. H2O2, it acts as both oxidizing agent as reducing agent. In such cases, students are feeling difficult. Among the following, in which case H2O2 acts as reducing agent. In which case H2O2 acts as oxidizing agent. 
so very easily you can connect questions like this next another important points i am writing k2cr2o7 reacts with h2so4 that to cold condition cold condition then you will get cro3 cro3 what is this name chromic anhydride these three questions are previous year questions chromic anhydride the same h2so4 if you maintain hot condition hot concentrated you will get green color cr2so4 thrice plus oxygen okay this is what green color colors also important next k2cr2o7 plus h2so4 reacts with h2o2 it converting into cro5 this is what we call it as chromic peroxide chromic peroxide it is butterfly structure students it is butterfly structure here oxidation state of chromium also important let me draw the structure chromium peroxide chromic peroxide chromium chromic peroxide i'm drawing the structure here cro5 butterfly structure we have learned in first year also this is one thing oxygen this is oxygen this is oxygen this is also oxygen four oxygen right and the fifth oxygen like butterfly double bond this is minus 1 oxidation state peroxide minus 1 minus 1 minus 1 this is minus 2 totally chromium is plus 6 oxidation state clear next last reaction k2cr2o7 treated with this is a laboratory reaction mark this is the best con good confirmation test for chloride ion chloride ion chloride ion confirmation test chloride ion confirmation test recently case at examination also they asked what is that chlorine gas colorless chlorine gas from where you will get hcl so if if you treat with kcl salts then what happens in presence of acidic medium it converts in into chromyl chloride cro2 cl2 this is like reddish brown fume reddish brown fume okay now next almost we have completed kmno4 and k2cr2o7 kmno4 also preparation is there students kmno4 industrial preparation also plays important role so let me discuss kmno4 industrial preparation we are taking uh, manganese dioxide this manganese dioxide treated with koh of gain oxygen air presence roasting what you will get here k2mno4 this is potassium manganate manganate and by product is water you have to balance the reaction students this is 2 and this is 4 okay so finally here you will get 2 k2mno4 and this is what two water molecule this manganate you can write here potassium potassium manganate already we have discussed what is oxidation state this manganate you can take it now ionic form Manganate, how you can write ionic form minus two no two potassium no. This is three moles I am taking. This three moles now if you treat with acid, acid then you will get per manganate MnO4 minus and whatever you have taken starting material it come out MnO2 plus two moles of water. This is the industrial preparation. We have to write balanced reactions. This is per manganate. Nate colors already have discussed structures also discussed tetrahedral shape okay and oxidizing agents points we have completed with this maximum d block elements completed first two parts this is the part three next last one one more k m n o four n factor m n o four m n o four minus in is m n o four permanganate 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 in acidic medium acidic medium what is the n factor n factor is converting into mn plus 2 mn plus 2 mn plus 2 and by product is water so here what is the main important point here manganese plus 7 station state plus 7 to plus 2 right how many electrons gained five electrons five electrons then what is the n factor n factor equal to then equivalent weight how to calculate equivalent weight equal to m5 
so the same mno4 minus if you have taken basic medium basic medium okay basic medium then it converting into so what is this basic medium it converting into what is this mno2 this is by product water see here this is manganese plus oxidation state no here manganese is plus oxidation state plus 7 to plus 4 how many units students 3 units that means 3 electrons gained 3 electrons gained this is what basic medium okay this is what acidic medium they will mention mediums also here what is the n factor n factor number of electrons gained that is 3 right equivalent weight equal to m by 3 m by 3 now next one last case neutral medium neutral medium how what is n factor mno4 k2 mno4 mno4 minus plus what is this it converting into neutral condition you can medium 4 minus converting into mno4 2 minus important one this is what students manganate manganate This is what student permanganate. Permanganate. Okay. Here, what is n factor? M N oxidation state here plus six oxidation state. Already we have calculated, right? Here one electron gain. That's why what is the n factor? N factor equal to one. Then equivalent weight equal to m by one. Your equivalent weight and molecular weight both are same. both are same in which case in neutral medium or weakly basic neutral medium so with this d block elements we have completed if you have any doubts also you can comment and please like and share uh, to others also and who are preparing je mains and neat examination this useful video students thank you thanks for watching